Alright guys, we've got my new build here. Well, it's uh, 4790K with the new Swift Tech uh, 220X. I've got the lights off to so show you the glare is not ridiculous. I've used the new, well it's not new, but the Corsair high performance fans all throughout the case so it is loud. Um, also replace the original Swift Tech fans with those Corsair high performance. Also did like a half push pull. As you can see, I've got the third fan installed there. It is on the highest fan setting um, now. It's uh, eight gigabytes Dominator GT at uh, 2100 megahertz. An MSI Twin Frozer graphics card, but I really like the look of it. Um, one thing you will notice, sort of maybe, about the uh, heat sink, that's the, the block for the cooler. I've got the red LED on there. It's more of an orange than a red, but um, still very nice like it. It's the uh, really, really clean look. As far as the temperatures, I actually started this build with the Corsair 100i Extreme cooler. Um, really wasn't pleased with it. I could only get to about 4600 um, megahertz overclock with it, which with the Devil's Canyon I wanted more. Although that's from what they're saying, that's about average. Um, I did switch it out with the uh, the uh, Swift Tech 220X, and it's been phenomenal. Um, I've got a overclock of 4,700 megahertz. I'm running Prime 95 and torture test blended you can see the temperatures right now um, just are outstanding um, I did run it for uh, longer I've been playing with the voltages on it and you can see that um, I was trying to go for more aggressive overclock and that was where the higher temperatures had come from I was up the V core to 3.5 and I just wasn't comfortable with that so I backed it down to the 4700 you can see right now that my V core is at 1.296 which this cooler is more than capable of the full speed on there the total package of the CPU right now is reading at 52 degrees Celsius and you can see in real temp the individual cores overall just an amazing cooler um, like I said it handily beats the Corsair H100i it allowed me to get that overclock up I could take it higher than 4700 and I was stable just um, when you're doing the small FTT um, part of it when it's really hitting that temperatures I didn't like it getting up there that high and in all honesty the benchmarking it between 4700 and uh, 4800 is very very little but if you're looking for a, a water cooling system right now I, I gotta say you, you, the 220X is the way to go um, it's well worth it unless you're wanting to get outrageous and build a thousand dollar custom loop. I appreciate it. Take it easy.